Oh, this is bugged. All right, never mind this. Dire team bang. Oh god, this doesn't look good. Can't see the bands. Oh Jesus. All right, it's gonna be interesting. Dire team bang. Damn it! What the fuck? All right, this is not good. All right, so my screen's apparently bugged. That means I cannot see the first picks and no bands. This is not good at all. In game you won't know what I'm remaining. talking about. On the stream you will see what I'm talking about. Five oh god. Seconds remaining. This is not good at all. All right, Slark got banned. I can hear that. Radiant team ban. Bristleback got banned. Dire team pick. All right, it's good. I I can hear it. It's good. Um so Bristleback and Slark got banned. I think Alchemist got banned as well if I can but no Timber saw. I didn't hear Timber saw get banned. So he should still be in the pool. Um, as I said, this is kind of weird. This is the first time this is actually happening. So, um, Volvo. Didn't want to fix this apparently. 10 seconds remaining. Uh, gotta love the company sometimes. It's amazing, really. 5 seconds remaining. Alright, so uh, welcome guys to the first of Reserve the time. best of two. It's not really best of two, it's just two match. Radiant uh, two matches pick. between um, Snow White Queens and Co-op Forming Gaming. So, what kind of match are these? Um, basically, they're just like a um, a uh, pre-matches to determine who actually can qualify into the playoffs and actually be um, a part of the playoffs, of course. And uh, we got a pick which is uh, Abaddon on Co-op Forming Gaming. That's something I could also hear. Ten seconds remaining. And. Uh, I can't believe I actually have to Weaver. rely on my he hearing at this point. It's kind of weird. Radiant team. Pick. And um, no, actually, Co-op Forum Gaming got Weaver. Snow White Queens got Abaddon. There you go. This is such. This is so much of a guess. It's amazing, really. Um. All right. So. Jesus, why does it look so weird? Oh. So we got a. <laughs> we got a. Weaver. And Venomancer on Co-op Forming Gaming's um, lineup, and we got a Abaddon on Snow White Queens. So is Snow White Queens gonna go for a typical, um, like, passive late game-ish kind of play, or what is exactly their plan right now? Because as I, usually you would pick Abaddon to actually shield a very important rather mid to late remaining. game carry. You won't really want to push with him too much. Even though his shield Five can be remaining. very, very, very nice in offensive play as well. When you have a Weaver, for example. Reserve and time. Uh, they don't. So. And then we got a Gyrocopter. Dire well, bang. there's the mid to late game carry. He can be very useful in the early game as well, of course. With his Rocket Barrage, very, very, very strong, but... You need a stun for that to actually be very effective. Also to like get the full duration off. Ten seconds, which remaining. Abaddon cannot really provide. So um, seems like Snow White Queens does Five want to go remaining. rather mid to late game. And Scope Forum Gaming, so far, reserve time doesn't quite doesn't quite yet show in which way they want to go. So far, they have like um, the Venomancer for all the push in. They have the um, Weaver for, well, Weaver can basically do everything. I mean, he's a very slippery kind of hero. Oh, Radiant was, Team Ben. Was that a Wraith King? It sounded like Wraith King. I really have to rely on my hearing at this point. It's, it's kind of awkward. It really is. So, Wraith King Ben, is that, is that really just... Did that just really happen? Remaining. Oh my god, this is so weird. Five seconds to lie about this. Reserve time. overlay. It's not All right, so uh, Dire Team Ben. All right, so uh, sorry for the quiet pause here. It's just like um, ten seconds remaining. I just got. Well, someone just wrote to me, and you can luckily not see it. Five seconds remaining. It will fix after the draft. Radiant team ban. Oh. 
All right, there's the Timbersaw ban. Why did no one pick him? It's kind of weird. Team pick. Not to see Timbersaw ban uh, pick is really awkward because he's so strong in so many ways. He can counter push. He can even push somewhat. Or he can he can clear creep waves really fast. But his problem is that he cannot really do damage towers. So as well, kind of weird that he didn't get picked up. But all right. So we got a gyrocopter, Abaddon, so far in Snow White Queens, and a Weaver and Venomancer on the co-op from gaming. Um, for those who just Five tuned in, remaining. this is not an overlay or anything, it's just Volvo. Um, you can blame this totally Reserve on time. Volvo. They completely bugged this for some reason. I'm not sure why and how this Mirana. happened. And uh, we got a Mirana pickup by co-op from gaming. Pick. So it's going to be a early game pickup-ish kind of lineup. It's gonna be very like this is gonna be a very interesting thing right now because Snow White Queens want to go a bit later with the Abron and Jaro, whereas Co Co Forum Gaming wants to go a bit early. And yes, Weaver can be very powerful early game with his Shikuchi. It does a lot of damage and it's got it's getting underestimated so many times. So many people consider him as a really late game hard carry for some reason, which is not really true. Weaver has a very, very strong impact on early and mid-game as well. So, Ten uh, seconds remaining. Call for gaming so far, going for early game-ish kind of seconds remaining. type of lineup. Where Snow White Queens does want to play a bit more passive, even Reserve though they could time. play aggressive with the Lion. I mean, he has the double, the double, um, double CC, so that's at least something. All right, so um, next pick is going to be very interesting. I'm good. I'm very interested to see what Cold Forum Gaming does ha have, like what they are planning on doing right now. And uh, we got a Nyx Assassin. Just confirms it. They're going to go for pick offs, and they're going to try to get this over real fast. They cannot really go into late or or mid game. They will be a bit in trouble if that should happen, because Nyx Assassin is also again like the early game or early mid game if you can say that it's like it's a very how are they gonna lane this anyways all right wait Ten so this could remaining. be a mirana offlane or a weaver offlane both are actually pretty legit. Remaining. um could be aggressive trolling with um, time. i think this gonna be venom to mirana and nyx assassin aggressive trolling because one slow two stuns it just seems way too sexy to be honest. And uh, we were probably gonna go safe lane farm up against um Snow White Queens probably didn't have didn't choose yet. So far they have Lion, Gyro and Abaddon, which is definitely a which should be played safe lane, I think. So at this point that should be alright, so it's basically gonna be Alright, so it's gonna be a Clinks against Weaver. Team ben. Um, this is a very interesting lineup. Clinks might have trouble early game, quite a bit to be honest, because Clinks is one of those heroes who actually needs its farm. Again, Snow White Queen's going for the mid game right now, really going for Ten mid slash remain. late game, just hoping to do, to do this. So far, Five they do lack remaining. on the stun department, on the CC department, quite a bit. Clinks doesn't have Reserve anything time. really. Um, Abaddon has the shield all right, but also no real CC whatsoever so they have to rely on Lion completely. Lion is gonna be a very very important hero right now because even though Gyrocopter has a slow and uh, missile it's very it's not really reliable it's really just it's kinda messy so Lion is gonna do the big plays if Lion messes up Snow White Queens will Dying get in bang. huge trouble so at this point Cold Forum Gaming might have the upper hand with their draft I do prefer their draft a bit more since they do have more reliable CC and um, Ten so it is kind of all over the place it's not as focused as the one from co Gaming so far remaining. I think both teams do need a mid so I can actually Reserve see um, can we see Queen of Pain would be good invoker has been picked quite a lot in this tournament and <coughs> uh, this leech okay it just got back Radiant team that was, uh, pick. unfortunate 
So, um, we can see TA, we can see Queen of Pain, we can see a Puck. Um, look, we are seeing mid. We see something like, uh, puck. there it is, the Puck. Alright, so call for a game again, pick. going for an early game, just going for just early mid game, just completely going for a lot of useful stuff, a lot of utility. Puck has the silence, the um, the dream coil. Venomancer has the d uh, damage over time with the poison nova, and of course the the uh, the gale. Nyx assassin has a lot of pickoffs, and um, Weaver of assassin. course also doing a lot of. Yeah, and here again, Snow White Queen's going for mid game. Um, very 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 hard to get through, to be honest. Um, Snow White Queen's maybe a bit too much focused on going into mid game. Because so far I can't really see them surviving too much. Like, if this goes the wrong way, they're gonna get face rolled by the early game power of Co-op Forum Gaming. So uh, yeah, this might get very interesting. All right, so we got a leader killer on the Murana. We got um, Elderberry, Duke Elderberry on the Nyx Assassin. Night can. Late camp 14 on the Weaver, View on the Venomancer and Volvo. There we got Volvo. It's all their fault that my screen got, no, that my Captain's draft got weird. On the, the Puck. And we got Hibatari on the Klings. A lot of drawings we've made here. Kind of weird. Um, we got I just ride on TA. Very sexy set, by the way. NWA on Avadon. Vladivar on the gyrocopter and Bora the king, which actually kind of fits the hero, on lion. So there we go. None of them are actually going for five men securing the war. Thirty seconds to battle. So we won't have a early clash, which we usually see. All right. So everyone being very polite, which also has to. This is actually pretty standard. Should be like this. And Rocket Brush, Scott Skilled, and uh, kind of everyone in their position. Not doing much so far. And uh, Mirana got. Where did she get the ward? I didn't. The battle begins place. for good and all. Oh yeah, right. It's because of the patch. I forgot. Um, for those who doesn't know, uh, who don't know yet, um, you can't give the um your own teammates both wards anymore. Um, you can only give them one. I'm not sure why this is even a, is a thing, why they have to patch like this, but it got weird. Alright. So we got the passive trial in, but no aggressive trial in by Cold Fallen Gaming, which is kinda odd. I'm um, seeing Puck in the lane? Okay, this is getting. Okay, they're dual laning? Mid? This is awkward. Okay. This is a very unique choice. Do, like you can't, you, you do even see this on the, like a very high play, a, like high skill game, like for example, with um, with Navi or any other professional team. They actually have dual lanes as well sometimes, but it's a rare sight. So very interesting. Got sentry put down, which is very important for Weaver to get. So don't let him do too much damage and control the whole thing. And uh, yeah, dual lane mid. It's gonna be dual lane mid, which is very unique. Puck is gonna solo? No, not quite. He's gonna dual lane with a support Nyx, and it's gonna be a solo Mirana. And uh, here, as predicted, the trial lane happening, whereas um, we got the roaming Abaddon, and uh, TA already getting a lot of damage, and uh, Curry did not get killed. That could have been a curry kill with Gemini in the tech. Oh, it could have been pretty neat. Alright, so, so far, Gyrocopter leading with 5 CS. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of still weird that seeing Puck on the side lane. He's she or it, I don't even know what gender it has. But, uh, very strong mid, actually, so... I guess she's kind of bad against um, TA, so that does make sense. And TA in big trouble right now, getting dot down with her shield, but will most likely survive. Did not decide to dive or anything. All right. So uh, TA will have a real hard time here. 
Weaver definitely won this lane pretty much with um, Venomancer, of course. And NVA, are, is he actually going to support? Like, is this going to be a dual dual lane? Could be interesting to see this. Alright, so a dual lane against dual lane, apparently. All them shields. Jesus. Alright. So we got a lot of shields going on here. And again. So this is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be dual lane against dual lane. And uh, we got Solo Jar against a Solo Mirana. Which uh, might actually turn into Mirana's favor, to be honest. Um, Mirana does have this stun. If that stun gets the 5 seconds on the gyro, he might be in huge trouble. So Abaddon has to babysit TA, otherwise she would get completely destroyed by the, uh, those two here. And uh, we got a dual lane bottom. Very, very interesting. Like, I'm really surprised how this actually got to this kind of weird ass lane. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so far, does go in favor for SWQ, I would say. Oh, never mind. This might. Nope. Okay, never mind. Yeah, still, like, SWQ so far do a great job not dying, getting somewhat CS, and that's our goal. Not to play too aggressive, just play a bit passive, play it safe, and then when they come into the late, uh, into the mid game, just completely stomp the co op forum gaming. They might not stomp them, like, really hard in the mid game. But late game, they will definitely completely destroy the form game, guys. I'm gonna call him CFG. What the first oh, damn it! I missed the first blast. Very close. So, Ryan, I was about to look here. Sad moment for my life. Alright, so um, Nyx hasn't got first blood on the Clinks. That's actually interesting. How did he get first blood? All right, so it definitely was a dream co uh, illusory orb, and of course the silence, not to make him go invis, and of course the mana burn and whatnot. But still, Lion was here as well, and uh, Clint's going for fa fast orchid, not going for power threats first, which is very wise. So uh, the Dyer's top tower is doing its best, so but it doesn't look good. Interesting. So far, very even. was most welcome and uh, yeah mana boots almost done on or arcane boots almost done on nyx assassin which will be a very huge deal you almost had it too. and puck just farming here has 20 cs almost as much as gyro still weird to see him in that position weaver is somewhat falling back which is weird okay like okay like Abaddon does shield her and is a nuisance in this case, but Weaver should have a, li a little bit more farm here. I guess the sentry just makes a huge difference right now. Just like um, when TA melts, For the temple. just use the meld to uh, go invis. So far, Coop Forum Gaming does not have any kind of vision. That means if she goes meld, she will not get the damage over time from Venomancer and stuff. And that's probably how she survived this so long. So, uh, also, it's weird to see that um, TA is actually winning the lane, as we can see in the in the um, CS board. Not only with um, denies, also with CS. So, this might actually be a very, very, very hard to deal with, uh, hard to deal with very um, later on, since TA is one of those stronger mid game carries. Who can do a lot, and I mean a lot of burst damage. Jericho still has such a farm, and uh, Che might be in trouble right now. Has no mana, and uh, gets some damage over time, gets harassed by the wards, and uh, Weaver might be. Oh, never mind. Weaver barely made it. And there's the sentry. Finally got the sentry on TA. So uh, at this point, she will finally lose CS, which had to happen a lot earlier. She lost due to um, 
Abaddon being in lane, a lot of XP. So this is also a big deal. And she's still getting harassed by the Venomancer ward. And uh, going for ward build, very wise here. Going to completely wreck this TA. Still TA doing a very good job in uh, getting CS. And not die of course. And we got a dead lion and a dead clings. I did miss the clings kill. This is one of those problematic uh, things about this lane as a caster. Both heroes have insane nuke damage. If someone dies, it's instant. This is like really, this is a really sad moment for me. As a caster, <laughs> gonna get admit this. So yeah. At least I got the lion kill. So far, bottom getting wrecked by this nuke lane combo. And uh, Clink's working on that orchid. And TA has a haste, wants to go bottom. Wants, nope, never mind. Just goes back to mid. Says, nope. Don't need to help. Not yet. And uh, we got a ward to get some vision. So TA won't get ganked. So far, they do trust TA so far at carrying this game pretty hard apparently they do favor TA safety by quite a lot and Venomance is gone so that means that finally TA will have more My pet thanks you. oh this one actually get a kill again Nick is gonna try and get the gyro but not quite he does see the lion just goes back doesn't want to risk it and Weaver now in big trouble. Doesn't quite know where he wants to go right now. He cannot stay in lane as much because of the harassment of the side blades. Even if he goes invis, I'm pretty sure it does go through invis. So that's also a very big deal. And TA completely destroying Weaver mid. TA doing some damage on the tower, which is a pretty big deal. Getting early towers, especially for SWQ, is a huge deal at this stage of the game, of course. So, again, trialing going here with Mirana. They're actually, the, the trial that I um, suspected from the very, very beginning uh, finally came to be. And uh, Mirana cannot stay in lane at all. And uh, here, just. Nope, doesn't get slowed, doesn't get hit by anything. And uh, Jaro not really in trouble. So yeah, so far. Fuck <laughs> initiation coming in. And Jaro might be this type of huge trouble, cannot do much, and will get stuck and get killed. So will Fuck. Never mind, has patience, and uh, here's the wrong Venomancer ult destroying everything. Here is the power of Co-op Forum Gaming damage over time Double with kill. the Venomancer, but TA will survive Three. everything. Double he tells of Refraction and um, maybe she will die due to the arrow and she died. That was actually pretty weird to see her going back to the arrow. Probably she wanted to she probably thought like, no okay, Mirana's gonna it throw no it right in front of me, but that didn't happen, so... Very, very nice thinking from TA actually, but um, sadly did not happen, so... I don't know if it was like this this advanced thinking or just like, um, I'm too stupid to hit the arrow, it was luck. Who knows? We'll never know. Oh, that's got to hurt. So again, SWQ did also get a pretty nice... Uh, got pretty nice kills on the Templar Assassin, which is very, very nice. So Templar Assassin getting more farm. Probably want to get go for that fast blink dagger, which will be a huge deal, but especially after the new patch. Basically, the new blink dagger does not require any kind of mana, which is a huge deal on non-intelligence heroes like TA or Legion Commander and so on. So definitely a big deal. Probably going to go for that. And uh, again, just CSing, getting a lot of farm on TA. And he's also doing a rather great job using all the free space he get. And uh, yeah, Jaro as well, farming. So far, 
Coform Gaming has to step up their game, otherwise they will most likely lose this. So if you look at the Denied. network right now, on the top is the TA. Even over the safe lane, free farming, carry the gyro. Because of the kills, of course, he got the advantage. And uh, it's going to be a very, very, very nice blink. And with that blink, he can actually start to ro roam a bit more and uh, maybe get some kills. Will be hard though because um, Venomancer kind of counters quite a lot and Puck, of course, I mean, we all know how Puck is. Very, very difficult to deal with. And we were again getting harassed so much. That is ours. Mirana not doing. She does actually okay for offline. Like, she's a level 11 at 13 minutes, which is actually a huge deal. But sadly, Klings, even though he's only level 8, he does get a lot of farm. So. Even though he doesn't get as much as he and oh, never mind, he will survive this. Alright. A lot of ping going on. And uh, again, TA just completely dominating mid right now and got the blink there apparently. By the gods, the Dyer's bottom tower doesn't even have arms to Lion defend itself. Somewhere? What a brave tower. Alright, Lion died here. At this stage. Dyer's bottom tower is under assassin. attack. Run, little bottom tower. Run. Wait, did he seriously? He did. Alright, so Lion killed himself by you <laughs> by ulting the spike carapace. Wow. I missed that. That's really a sad moment right now. So very nice play from Nyx Assassin. Not gonna lie, that was probably nice timing. So that's he has to be committed for this, definitely. Very nice play by Nyx Assassin. Literally just using the finger against Lion. And again, helping Klings as much as possible, doing a lot of helping here. Abaddon got his ult popped, which is. Now he should be a, what, a bit more careful. Does max his healing over the shield, which is kind of weird to see on Abaddon, and he might be in trouble, will die immediately. Very bold move from him. And again, Puck just initiating in, and Lion will melt. TA also in very bad position, so is... Nope, never mind. Actually, Klinks will have a good time, will survive. And uh, Temple Assassin barely survived, has the Blink Dagger, of course. And a lot of ping going on. It got warded. Camps got warded, so... Uh, Meanwhile, Weaver pushing mid. Dyer's middle some tower is all alone in the world. Space, which was Beam very attacked. important for him. Since Weaver still, he can be effective early game and uh, mid game, of course. Dyer's he does tower is under attack. Swarm, even though Shikuchi is a rather strong spell. So again, just SWQ already doing a lot Dyer's of pressure. Dyer's middle here. tower is under attack. Want to get this? Want this tower like quite a lot? And uh, so far, a uh, rather good job. TA doing is a under lot attack. of damage on no Puck, and oh, Venomancer is going to die in the and so is the Dyer's top tower is doing the best, but also going to die, and Puck also in very bad position right now, will get nuked down, or well, not nuked, but right click down by the TA, TA almost died, this was very close, she could blink away, she does, and she goes away, and this tower is, fortification in place, maybe get the Hope he is middle tower has thing, fallen. but finally the Which finger, tower was always the, the finger tower. finally succeeded. So no nix, no spike carapace anymore. Just got finger to death. Had to happen. So it was a tower trade mid for bottom, and this is actually a good thing for SWQ. Just surviving as much as possible, getting as much as possible gold. And again, Clink's already finished his orchid. Um, 60 minute orchid. For an offlaner, that's actually a pretty nice thing to have. Experience wise, Co Forum Gaming, of course, is in favor by quite a bit. And the gold, that's actually pretty even. The gold is pretty even, which of course makes sense because they're trading towers. And um, I'm kind of surprised that Clink has this much farm. Like, already an Orchid. Again, that time trolling, and uh, Puck will die due to no the Cyblade. And uh, yeah, they <laughs> could get this tower with the wings, of course. He has the strafe. 
top already. Nyx Assassin looking for a kill. Doesn't quite know to go in or not. Well, Avram has his ult, so... The Radiant should really do something kill. about that middle tower. They decide to react mid, or at least Weaver did. And did not use Orchid on Venomancer just yeah. yet, saving it for Nyx Assassin most likely. And Nyx Assassin will melt due to the call down. And uh, he did use it. Also, um, Puck of course died as well. So, pretty nice pick off here by SWQ. And double damage on. Oh, this is a ballsy move. This is a very ballsy move. And uh, he went back. Alright, both teams went back. Mirana did have the opportunity just to try and do something at that point. Because double damage is quite a huge, huge, uh, huge deal at this point in the game. And uh, there's the sun. And here is the combo wombo. And uh, despite that, Venomous Middle is gonna die. Is all alone and in the so world. is Zarocopter. And TA might be in a very bad position right now. Nick Sasson will do some lot of damage. Or at least he'll try to. Lion will die. And uh, it has so no will to defend itself. TA. Killing spree. Triple kill for Nyx Assassin. Very Venomous nice play here. Is all alone the combo the wombo. Be and uh, three guys died immediately. So that's the power of Venomancer, ladies and gentlemen. Do not Dyer's middle that. tower is under it's attack. So much magical damage over time. It's getting underestimated by quite a few people. Dyer's structures are fortified. I think he does the most damage over Dyer's time. Dyer's middle tower is all alone in the world. In the game. Beam attacked. I'm sure he does. Maybe Phoenix. And uh, all right. Dyer's middle tower is under game. attack. Get this it no and it will actually get it. Jaro Dune has much fallen. Possible, but sadly. A bit too late. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Sadly too late. And this top tower is gonna drop as well, most likely. Which also will be a huge deal for Core Forum Gaming. It will Dyer's show in the gold graph. Under attack. Wait, oh, oh, Dyer's what? top tower has fallen in battle. And suddenly, SWQ just lost two towers. Tier 2 mid and tier 1 top. As long as they have these towers, it's not too much of a deal. Since they do have somewhat control over Roshan. And uh, again... They still didn't realize this is worth it. It's kind of interesting. They should have noticed by now. Like, it's worth it. By quite a bit. Like, Jesus. How long is it? Almost the whole duration. Alright. Blink Dagger on Nick Sasson, which will be a very nice initiation. And uh, Nick Sasson just does scout out a bit. And uh, here we go. We've got some. Got some dewarding going on here. Um, kind of weird not to see them. I like Nyx has some dewarding this instead, but alright. So that's a wasted ward. Good thing for SWQ. And a lot of pinging going on. They can definitely see people. So if we look at the experience graph, it's still like in favor for CFG by quite a bit. The gold graph should be, yeah, exactly. Should definitely go in favor for C. FG because of the tower advantage so far and again still SWQ doing a good job keeping themselves in the game even though they lost two towers it's still okay because they still don't have a huge disadvantage at this point and PKB almost done on Tamar Assassin which will be a huge deal against the lineup from CFG it will definitely be a huge thing and uh, here just Getting a bit of control over Roshan. Nick Sesson just scouting out a bit. Ultimate still has a bit of time. And uh, TA decides to take these creeps and got worded again. Alright. So, kind of a lot of farm just going away here for not being able to ward this. And initiation on the Abaddon. He will survive due to his ultimate. Or not. For some reason. It was again very ballsy. I don't understand why he wanted to go back in. It's just weird. And uh Nixessin might be in trouble here. Uh Nick Dyer's bottom place. tower is under might attack. Be nope, never mind. He will be fine. And uh, initiation on Gyro will not kill him. Dyer's well. bottom tower has and, fallen. Uh, it was a another tower effort. for CFG, so. 
again. In favor for CFG doing very good work. Doing this mid game pressure right now. This early mid game pressure. Which is very needed. They want to take this tier 2 tower. It will be a big thing. And Venomancer will survive. TA in very bad position gets them and she will melt. Alright, so TA just died and uh, they got a 2 1 bottom tower from the dire. And uh, here, wait, and not quite kill it. Oh, that's the arrow. The arrow just flew this way to the base. Amazing arrow. Alright, so Klings did get Mirana, which was pretty neat. Again, very nice for. SWQ getting kill, getting a neat kill, but they cannot afford to lose this tower. They really can't afford to lose this tier 2 tower. Because if Dyer loses this tower, this this tower, then they have no control over Roshan anymore. Okay, actually they, do, they still do because of the... Okay, they have, nope, it's gone as well, that's right. So, they cannot afford to lose this tower. Otherwise, they will lose the control over Roshan, and that would be a very huge... Strate uh, strategic benefit for the S uh, CFGs. And Nyx is the moon for his life. And there it is. He just daggers away. He just wanted to waste the silence. Which is very interesting. Oh, I lied to you. Gaia's top tower is under attack. So, oh, that's got to hurt. So far, SWQ slowly losing the control of, of the game. At the beginning, they had somewhat decent control of after, like of the game. Did could counter like everything S uh, CFG threw at them, but at this point, they don't. They complot and completely lo lose lo lost control. And again, it's still it's warded. And they lo they lose so much gold for not being able to actually ward that. It's a very huge deal right now. They're losing so much gold. Jaro could have oh, just farmed that no. no problem. Like four stacks, that's a lot of gold. I never noticed that it was gold. And uh, Nick Sesson getting rid of the refaction. Fail, silence, fight, but will pay with his life for it. That was too ballsy. Way too ballsy there. So, Puck just initiated to his death, or well, it's death, I don't know which gender it is, and uh, that's a return for that we do, and uh, so far, CFG not contesting it despite, nope, they don't know, they actually don't know it yet, I just realized they don't know, so this is going to be a very nice return kill for SWQ, I couldn't be done. Roshan has fallen to the dire. And the gyrocopter has the ages. So this is the time where you can just go on and push to get your advantage back. And uh, at this point, you're going slowly in favor for... Uh, well, it still is in favor for CFG, but it slowly gains... Like, um, SMQ slowly actually gets in favor again. Which of course makes sense. They got Roshan and... Um, they will start to fight a lot more. Getting the ward here and the trap as well, of course. So far, no ward though. No ward. And again, Ancient still warded. Lincoln's fear, of course, done. So it's gonna be a Shiva's guard on Puck, which is very interesting. She or it could actually go for a sheep stick as well, which is very common. So, an interesting pickup by Pun. Shiva's guard. For the extra CC. And uh, Klink's doing some nice work on Jukin, running for his life, get silenced, and uh, he will make it out alive, most likely. Yep. He will make it out alive. No TPs, though, which is. Not too well good, but alright, he'll make it out alive, no problem. Them jukes. Very nice movement from Klinks. Ibatari doing a very good job, and we were keeping bottom. Does not have the deeps yet. 
He does have survivability with his lengthened spear, but not the deeps. But yeah. Slowly going. In fair for SWQ, as I said. Still farming, which basically is what they want to do. Just farm he can be done on the Temper Assassin, which is a very huge deal. The next team fight she might do a lot of damage. And she will be very survivable as well. Tyra of course has to be KB as well. So if CFG doesn't change this very very soon, then they might find themselves in a very 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 difficult position. So far they do have somewhat like they have a bit of carry potential with Murana and Weaver. There's it's nothing when you compare it to like Klings, Jaro, and TA. Even Abaddon has somewhat carry potential. They could actually transition him into a carry if they want to. But I don't think it will happen. So Satanic plan on the Dyer's bottom tower and is under TA attack. might find himself in a very bad tower. position. Run. Pops the BKB just to get out alive. And uh, he will most likely not get out alive. We're on a care attack. of him and Jaro comes with trying to clean up a bit more here. Gets Poison Novad and uh, doing Drop Rush on Venomancer. When a Venomancer tries to duke him away, and uh, Jaro comes through. Jaro is not in a bad position right now, and nope, he will actually kill the Dyer's And the Aegis doesn't up even have arms to defend itself. What a brave tower. Very nice fight for SWQ, despite Lion dying due to the tick damage for. Uh, from Venomancer and of course losing TA but overall some kills on Gyro still managed to survive this long and that's a Satanic very interesting choice getting Satanic on Gyro this early he has no DPS so um, very interesting choice but just wants to get very survivable next item most likely gonna be something like no MKB but never mind so um Murana just did a wise decision here, she just went back, she will not have survived this at all. So Gyro very survivable, does still lack the damage but is very survivable. And uh, here again, Temple Assassin, I'm not sure what she can, she could go for Desolator, she could go for Daedalus, um, she could go for so many things. Gyro most likely is going to go for MKB, that's the most common item on Jaro for DPS, since, dam uh, since crit and so on does not stack with black cannon. And uh, we got her. And she already creep only. Weaver will survive. Yep. Just to tease out lack of the uh, lack of the CC, which was already talked about in the beginning of the game so this Lincoln makes him so survivable since his only fear is gyro right now and uh, there it is Link's still going for a lot of wards five going for safety going for detection which is very smart she was guard still not done and uh has an AQ trouble will die due to the arrows and uh, yeah, SWQ in a very good position right now. It's finally getting into their favor. And uh, we got a pause coming in from Puck. And it was probably just a misclick, apparently. Yep, was a misclick. No pause needed. And uh, so far, CFG very, very bad position right now. No, they can't really find themselves. Run, little they can't really tower. get Run. the momentum back they needed, and of course it makes sense because Radiance Metal Tower is under attack. their carries, like their SWQ Dyer's bottom carries, bottom tower was never are my actually favorite. getting a lot of fun, and it's an important tower it just got dropped. Radiance Metal Tower has fallen. Have done. Ulti got dropped probably because of the damage over time from Venomancer. And again, Run. by the it's gods, the Dyer's bottom tower doesn't oh, even have arms to defend itself. Decision. What a brave tower! She could, she could have tip damaged the, uh, the tower, but why not? So, CFG doing some damage on towers as well, just 
don't work. So at the end of the day, they changed. Uh, they um, traded a tier Demo one damage! tower for a tier two tower, which is a very bad trade for SWQ. A very good one for CF. And uh, Nick Session again is in a very bad position right now. Will get silenced, cannot use any spike or anything, and uh, will barely survive with a spike. That was a very, very lucky time there. Alright, so ancient stacking. Brother just clear, cleaning nails. Sexy stacks. And uh, we'll look at the graph XP, XP wise. SWQ taking it into the um, into the middle again, which is a very nice thing. And uh, gold wise, st still in favor for CFG, but it goes in f uh, slowly in favor for SWQ. And uh, so far, they have, like CFG defending a lot, which is not really what they want to do at this point. And we were almost going for butter, uh, like Dyer's almost top butterfly. Tower is under attack. We'll go for butterfly, of course, which is a very good item. Um, not, sh not entirely sure. The how much is going to help him is doing its best, but it Since MKB hurt. is a very common item on Jaro, Clinks, and even TA, it's not no, it's not as common on TA, but it's pretty legit. So yeah. Tower cannot be denied, very sad. And TA pops BKB does not do anything, but that was a waste of BKB. Very good for CFG at this point. Wasting BKB is a very huge deal. And Clinks. Clinks and Weaver still dancing here. So Gyro definitely fi farming a lot more. Radiance than bottom tower other. is under attack. And there's a Desolator on Mirana. Which would definitely help in split pushing by quite a lot. And everyone's retreating from SWQ's side. Probably waiting for this Rashan. This is what they probably want. Whoops. This is what they want. The Rashan. This one. It's all theirs. Need. And we will get stunned. We're not seeing him attack much earlier. He will survive, very survivable. And Klinks cannot kill him. A bit of lack of DPS. And SOEQ wants to fight this point, which is very, very wise. Because that's what you want to do. So far, Mirana is still pushing a lot, doing a lot of damage to towers. And even Puck still quite work here. And Clink coming from behind wants to kill the Venomancer and gets the kill off. And the Weaver initiation from Puck will not do too much. I'm not sure why it doesn't break it. It doesn't do damage when you have the on. And here's the next coming in with the initiation on. Terror comes through. Will get silenced and he's almost down. But here the Clinks will die. And Weaver will just ult himself alive again. Die bone tower is under attack. Will not get Puck because of the Blink Dagger. And we were going for TA, which might be very troublesome for TA. She cannot blink. And now she can. She is pretty much in safety right now. And they're gonna TP out. So CFG still a lot of fight. And lanes again get pushed by Murana and Puck for a bit. So a bit split pushing from CFG just to make sure that they can't really push in too much. Jaro almost got that Eagle Song done. Probably will save some buyback. And Butterfly will be a huge item on Terra Cup, which makes him so much more survivable and of course um, does boost up his damage by quite a lot because of the attack speed and the damage of course. So Butterfly done on the Weaver. It's gonna be very very troublesome. And no stack, nothing. 
So I did not go for a buyback. I said, nope, not as important. I'm going to go for Eagle Song instead. And they're dewarding. Of course, GA might go up. Let's play safe after all. It's quite a thing. A very, very bad play, but never mind. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, Dyer's top tower has fallen. Top tower has fallen. We were doing good work here. Oh, stun on Garl. This might be initiation on them. On the SWQ. And there it is. The Beno ult. I've got to get some life shit. The Dyer's top tower is doing its best. No, but it doesn't look good. He will not die in here. Elite kill, uh, Elite killer will die. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Holy CC from SWQ. And here? Nyx hasn't doing some damage with her son, but that's about it. Not doing too much. Jay cannot initiate unpuck. Way too annoying. And right now, CF moved in a very, 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 very bad position. They don't have any control on Roshan anymore. And so far, they can't really deal with FWQ's five-man Dota right now. The only chance they have right now is just to push, split push as good as possible. Weaver cannot outcarry those three carries. So TA pops BKB and doesn't do much really. It does slow them by quite a bit, but everyone is safe in safety. So yeah, MKB is definitely on TA will most likely be the next item. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And uh, one fire was uh, it's all already done on the gyrocopter. Mech already done here. And no mech so far. Oh, there it is, the mech on Abaddon. And we're again really hard to deal with right now because SWQ lacks the CC by quite a bit. They only have line, really. It's a battle of the battle here, uh, butterflies. The butterflies. Thirty-five percent. So all them butterflies. It's a lot. Wait, do we have three? Oh, not yet. Temper Assassin might want to go for MKB finally. I don't think butterfly would be the item on TA at this point. CFG doesn't have that much right click to begin with, so it's kind of odd to see people go for butterflies at this stage, but I uh, might get some from here. Initiation from TA, and there's the ult to Moonlight Shadow. Someone's gonna TP from CFG, and that's the Weaver. A bit suicidal, but she's a common initiation from Puck, does a lot of damage, and here's the agent who's gonna get popped. Jaro's gonna die, and. So is so is Lion. Abron will melt, and right now Blinks and TA in a very bad position will get nuked down. And only Clinks makes it all alive. Very nice, small combat by CFG. Very nice played. The count initiation just too greedy from SWQ, just playing way too greedy. That initiation was just. Way too ballsy, and uh, this is what they got. Very nice, small comeback. By the gods, From the Dyer's bottom CFG. tower doesn't even have arms to defend itself. What a brave! So Radiant's middle tower is under attack. That's not gonna hold. It will be a huge deal, actually, for the ult. It does have crit stick. I still don't know about this. Um, no, like the uh, no. Uh, no, no, MKB. Dyer's top tower work. is under attack. Oh, so again, Dyer's structures can't really control the Weaver like because me. the only CC they have is the Lion. The butterflies. And that's a, that's a very fast frog. Move. So 
everyone up again. And there we have it. So Jaro might finally get for some more DPS, which will be very needed. Four staff on Venomancer. And does not attack the catapult. And Weaver's going for MKB. Very will be a very huge item. Nick Hessen might be in trouble right now. And the Ghost Scepter did run off. Very much gets his ult off and this is good. The initiation will kill TA instantly. And um, that's about it. TA will die, gets a buyback. And Puck will make it out alive. Whereas a dead lion as well. Dead Abaddon as well. And there is a maybe dead weaver. No, nope, never mind. We'll get nuked down by Volvo. By the Puck. Very nice. So far, Puck MVP. Definitely. It's it's this Puck just made incredible plays. The counter initiation, like, it's just amazing. Just completely wrecks everyone. So yeah, SVQ was a bit too secure about the whole thing. They did have the advantage and uh, they were just too greedy. Just diving towers, just going in alone. Getting themselves into a very bad position. And MKB done on Verana. The BKB is gonna get popped on the Jaro. Jaro's gonna do a similar damage. We'll have to go back. We did not use, did not decide to use the Satanic. And Abaddon is back. So far, Nyx does not do much. We all look down you. there. And Gem did change. It is on the Venomancer. So far, very, very, very nice for CFG. Jaro still has the most farm on the map, but Jaro doesn't have. He has like, uh, well, what I'm talking about, the uh, Clinks doesn't have like, he almost only has half Jaro's farm. Which is really not good. Despite him being offline, even TA has like, she definitely has half his farm. It's a pretty nasty thing. Mirana and Weaver, like, even though they have a lower farm than, than, uh, the Jaro, they still have like, 70 50 percent more than clinks and ta and they still have the epic puck which also has more farm than clinks so will we see a sheep stick very soon most likely puck definitely going for the sheep stick and that sheep stick will definitely change something this puck is definitely changing games initiation why nix nothing else gonna happen though maybe no right. nothing else gonna happen We got a gem on Puck now. It did go from Venomancer to Puck, since Puck is very mobile and very survivable at this point. Also with the Shivas doing a lot of annoying debuffs. That sheep stick, that's gonna be so scary. Alright, initiation on Nothing. Okay. Dyer's top tower has fallen. It was only a matter of Nick time. will die due to the damage from Clinks. Lotto. Dyer's and bottom tower. We were doing damage. Doing some split push. And use the ult. And the sky is falling. We that's the just Dyer's top barracks. Gone. He's gone. All right. So, very nice play by Weaver using the. Using the free space to get Arax. And SWQ needs to do something real fast right now. They can't really handle the split push at this point. 
And Puck is very, very like he can already build, uh, build the sheep stick. He's just gonna save for fire most likely. Get silenced. He might actually die. Nope, never mind. He's actually gonna make it out alive. Just gonna blink away and Clink's very big He's trouble. Will die, dude. Presumably a pity. So there's the region one. Puck, bro, bro. All right. Puck did not see that. And uh, yeah, that's a sheep stick. That's the sheep stick. All right, so gyrocopter finally building the MKB, which will be a huge item. And we were still pushing, being a nuisance. And also has MKB, of course. Butterfly and MKB, everyone. Right, and uh, we're being a bit faulty here. I see Q still has Radius nothing to deal with attack. him. Line is the only thing they tower. have right now. No ah. There he is Dyer's dead. Alright, so honor. Weaver has pretty much... He's unstoppable at this point. And TA, very bad position, Thanks. will die due to Weaver's attack. Nope, never mind. The shield's actually gonna save him. And I want to push Gohan here. Attack. Well, it seems like Gohan mid. And so far, CFG. CFG Yoda doing a very nice job in split pushing. Avoiding 5 on 5s because they know exactly that they have. Most likely. Let there be a moment of silence. Okay, no. is all alone in the world. Beam He's attacked. He's gonna die. Looks like a dead Murana to me. Here's the stun. Dyer's Use the escape tower. and uh, get the wreck. But Stop. meanwhile, Take me. uh, the <laughs> they chased a Murana, but for but for what? They chased a Murana and hang on with all the oh, shit. Yeah, if those wrecks are gone, it's mega. It's pretty much over. And there's the ult coming from Weaver and last it's Dyer's bottom barracks have fallen. See ya. It's here and it's gonna be GG after this. Dyer's middle barracks are and under there attack. it is, the GG. Dyer's middle barracks. See if we pretty much won this. Um, comeback is very, very, very highly unlikely. Well, well, very, very ballsy play. SWQ just felt too secure. And just went in too aggressive so many times, which just basically cost their game. So very sad, actually. Not calling GG yet, so... Do we see a ring? Oh, fuck you. Gets melted pretty fast. And now what can I do anything? And there's the rape here. On gyro, so there we go. We got a gyro rape here, and everyone is gonna melt due to gyro. This might be the last chance for SWQ. Will a gyro? Will a rape here actually change everything? We hope so. This will actually be. I think it's the first timer in the whole amateur Dota 2 leech. A rape here on gyro. The first time, I think. Shadows take us. So yeah, we will most likely will be safe. Despite no? Nope. So basically someone has to defend. Um, which is not gyro or the rape here. It'll be kinda bad if he should defend. And uh, hard on Mirana. Very interesting choice. Okay, she can't build Scotty since she does already have the desolator, but okay. And, uh, will not do enough damage to kill TA. We'll just one run for a slide. Get silence. We'll survive no problem. Damage is all alone in the world. From Beam attacked. And the gem will be dropped. TP coming in from Puck. Boots of travel. Is the sheepstick done? Sheepstick is done. It's a good sheep stick. All right, Jara. Four second PKB won't be good enough against a sheep stick. 
They're defending as much as possible. And uh, GA, very bad position right now because they have the gem and got melted. And here, Abaddon as well, in a very bad position. Ult will get popped and uh, he will get sheep, still get damaged. And he will melt once again. Alright, so what they basically have to do is complete this kill, but that won't happen. Oh, he's a satanic and Gyro will melt down. That's the GG for CFG. And Razor still on clinks though. Give it to Gyro. Oh, there it is. On Gyro again, but still won't change anything really. Since it's just too much. Creeps, stuns. Middle tower is GG for and of course a nice ultra kill for Weaver. So GG for CFG. This time it's been just a bit short with a bit too ballsy and also lack the CC. It was very unfortunate, even though it was very very close. So Gory, all right. So yeah, this was the first game of CFG versus SWQ and yeah very exciting one as well